Let's go ahead and take a quick look here at some of the pictures from Crossy Roads to kind of get an idea, just a general uh, feel for what the game looks like, what we're trying to represent. Uh, but also we'll take a look at a game that's very similar to this where a lot of inspiration was drawn from. Uh, the main thing though is uh, just in terms of focusing on what we see here is the, uh, the, the visual side. Um, we've already got models and things that will kind of be representative of it. But at the same time, we also want to try to represent the same look and feel of the gameplay, the same type of lighting, the same type of movement. So we'll, we'll work through that, look at some videos, break things apart until we kind of get that core, what is it? Um, but it's very similar to their approach. Uh, if you notice, um, Crossy Roads, the, the core mechanic of it is very similar to another game. Uh, if you haven't actually played Frogger before, um, if it's before your time, you might want to try download it and test it out, see it. Uh, but it's very similar where you have a frog that has to get across uh, the different elements. Uh, the, the idea behind it, um, there's a lot that was kind of taken from it or inspired from it. Uh, that can be used, and I, I would definitely suggest if you're if you're working through Crossy Roads for the uh, for this example, is that you know play both the games, really try to understand both of them, and uh, find that find that element that that is a uh, kind of benefits the, the the gameplay that you're wanting to pull from it and into your own projects. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is go into Crossy Roads, uh, kind of a breakdown of what we need to build out, what we need to develop. And uh, we'll start writing some things down and get things figured out.